Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on finding a turning point. Turning point is kind of cute point, in my mind anyway. If you draw a sine curve here, okay, this part, you can't really store any water because it falls off. Here, you can store all sorts of water and because the cup is turning upward. Where the cup going from downward to upward, where its transition point is their turning point. We can call it a turning point. Or officially, they're called um, inflection points. But turning point, I like it better. All right, the way to find turning point is we have to take derivative. It's actually the second derivative when we set to 0. Let's proceed doing that. So first derivative is 3, 2x minus 1 squared times 2. Now this 2 is important because this 2x part, you have to use chain rule to take derivative of 2x. So we end up with 6x, 6 times 2x minus 1 squared. Then that double derivative is equal to 12, 2x minus 1, and then this to the 1, and remember, times 2 again. Now in our problem, this one actually doesn't make much difference. It's just a coefficient in the front. Okay, now from here, what we need to do then is set double derivative equal to zero, find out the x is equal to half. Okay, now before I go on, math break. My husband is into the Twitters and he got this funny book and the back of the cover, I thought this one was kind of funny to share. Changing one letter of a familiar title, star wart. The real reason Vader wears that mask. Anyway, back to math. So once we find where x is, all we have to do is evaluate it at the original function, not the double derivative. Okay, this one setting it equal to zero just gives us the x coordinate. Now in order to find the inflection point or the turning point, the point itself is actually on the function, right? So uh, incidentally, this is a sine curve. It's not to be confused with this curve. All right, back over here, x evaluated at half, then we have 2 times half minus 1, the whole thing, cubed plus 1. And guess what? f of a half is equal to 1. So, turning point is at x equal to half, y equal to 1. Okay, that's our final answer. Well, that's how we handle this problem. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.